So far, it's uh, it's been great. It's been cold. It's been, it's been really, really cold. cold. I mean, it's summer back home in Melbourne, so uh, for us to come here, it's a bit of a shock to the system, but we've been loving it. We've been a lot of sightseeing today. And it was nice to wake up to the snow as well. Oh. Yeah, we don't, we don't see, see any of that. Show. I guess to visit, yeah, it's a little nice to wake up to the snow. Yeah. You yeah. guys said you went out sightseeing. What did you guys uh, go see? Uh, Where would we go? Went to the Lincoln Memorial, the typical reflecting stuff. pool, the White House. Yeah, just got to tick it all off the list really fast is what we tried to do. We did it quickly before we got too cold as well. So. <laughs> yeah, before our fingers fell off. Right. <laughs> wow. It's a good one. Um, I reckon I'd get Air Force One and invite all of our mates and have an epic party on the plane. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a really good one, isn't it? I was just going to say, I just want to find out all the, all the secrets, you know, about the assassinations, all that. Oh, right, so you get down to business. Straight down to business. Oh, no, I'm, I'm all about party. <laughs> That's why you got into this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Well, it's funny, I remember someone asked us a similar question recently, and it's funny how what we do now, what we make, was probably called trance, you know, 10, 15 yeah. years ago. We've been called that a lot, especially yeah. in the US, trance DJs, but we've, we've never really considered ourselves. I don't, I don't think we're trance DJs. I think, I think it's a really broad term now. It fits in a lot of sub-genres that don't really have a, their you know, identity anymore, which probably isn't necessarily a good thing. But um, I think as an artist, it doesn't really matter what genre you make or what people label you, as long as you're making the stuff you want to make. So um, I think it'd be good to see some some of the some more subgenres in the progressive genre. Um, you know, that's just what I think. Yeah. Did sort you agree? agree? <laughs> sure. It's not that different, I don't think. I think it's pretty similar at a lot of the places we've been. Um, I know the, the, the thing I find funny is that Americans seem to say, you know, EDM is taking off and they're just getting into it, but you find that a lot, a lot of places around the world will copy what America does, especially within TV, radio, that kind of thing. So I don't think it's that, that different, especially within Australia. I mean, I think the same sort of tracks are just as big. Um, we play similar sets and they work, you know, just as well. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we change it up a little bit depending on where we are, but generally... Um, well, what we do... Place to places, it's pretty similar. It could be anything. Yeah. I mean, I think... A lot of the time, we'll be sitting there listening to what other people are doing, but obviously, you want to be unique. Yeah. Um, I think that the most inspired we've been, where we got the most music made, is we were, in, we were at the WSC March last year, mm -hmm. and when we came home, it was just like, bang, with about five or six tracks just done. Um, I think being in the environment, you know, around other artists and listening to what they're doing, that kind of thing, is that's where you get the most inspiration from. Um, for us, but then again, you could be on a beach somewhere. Yeah, I think sometimes you could, I mean, you could just be in the shower and <laughs> all of a sudden, like, shit, you know, shit, i got to run outside and just put an idea down real fast. But never yeah, works, you never, yeah, yeah, and then you realise it was a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> terrible idea. There's a yeah. lot of, for every one good idea, there's a hundred terrible ones. Yeah, exactly. Well, then... That track sort of just, it almost fell together. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. We had a, Aiden had a four chord progression that he played to Georgie and she um, she came up with something to sing over that pretty pretty quickly but like she was just writing it on her phone it was um, it was a bit of a process I mean we'd been working with Ivan for you know about a month before that and nothing we'd done was we, we liked that much you know we'd sort of finished the track and like no it's not good enough and that was sort of the culmination of a few good ideas and a few terrible ones and it sort of just came together nicely and Georgie just just made the puzzle fit together but it was a great pairing Exactly. Yeah, yeah it's, I think that's they're the she's, sort of vocalists we like that aren't that aren't dance vocalists. Mm. Um, people like Georgie that are from an indie sort of pop background, they always come up with something a little bit different. Yeah. So.